How's it going everyone? It's a beautiful spring day here in Minnesota and we've got bass on beds. I got a nice one right up in front of me. We've got a Neko rig tied on here. Let's toss it on over there, see if we can get bit. Oh yeah, instantly, no hesitation out of that one. He was not having that worm crawl across his bed. Oh, this is a nice fish too. Good way to start off the afternoon. Come here, little buddy. I just want to take a real quick look at you, and we'll send you on your way. Wow, what a beauty. And we'll get him back in the water quick. Let him get back to protecting the bed over there. I've got my next target right up in front of me on this bed. Gotcha. Ooh, they're jumping today. Nice. There's a good one. We'll get him unhooked. And we'll send him off to resume his bed guarding duty. Oh, what a pretty fish though. Yeah, some of them have been pretty aggressive today. They'll hit that worm the first or second cast. Some of them I've worked for about a half an hour and they just would not pick it up. So we'll keep trying some of these beds and see if we can get a few more nice ones. I'm gonna try to toss my worm a little bit past the nest, maybe on the other side of that log over there. So I don't spook him. And we'll let it drop right on the far side of that nest. I know he's hanging out just off to the left over here somewhere. Yep, I can see him sitting right over there. Still a little bit spooky for me planting that GoPro over here, so I'm just gonna stand here like a statue for a few minutes. It's a turtle over there. Is that turtle going for my worm? Here comes Mr. Bass, he's looking. Does he see it there? He's like, what is that worm doing on my bed?
he's looking. Is he gonna pick it up? Got him. Oh, that was so cool. I'm gonna pull up my anchor so I can let this fish pull me to the other side of these weeds. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Come on over here. Thank you. Man, that one was super picky. I had to work that one for probably a half hour to get it to bite. And finally, I got that worm right in front of him and twitched it right in front of his face for a little bit and he went into full on attack mode over there. That was awesome. Looked like that was right in front of the GoPro too, so that should be some sweet footage. Thank you. Yeah, definitely a little beat up looking from the spawn, but those fish will be nice and healthy looking in about a month here. I don't think that's a bed right there. I left my bed cam GoPro on one. A little ways over this way, I figured I'd just paddle around and see if I could spot any more I could set up onto. After I pull the fish off this one, of course. I did see a couple more beds in here. They just had a little fish on them. So I'm just targeting the big ones today. I got a couple more spots, maybe a mile up the river. I think I'll paddle up to. After I give this one over here a try. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice one right here. All right, come on over here. sunlight on that pretty fish and when you're pulling them off beds you want to get them back in the water quick we'll let them get back to the nest over there they'll swim around out front here for a minute or two and we'll go right back over to that bed well I paddled upstream a little ways to check out some of these little backwater bay type areas and there are a couple of beds up here I did see one with a nice fish on it, so I went and planted a GoPro next to it. And basically that's been the procedure I've been doing today. I paddle around until I see a nice one sitting on a bed, and then I'll stick my GoPro on it. I've got a couple of these dowels I'm using. You can see the one end is cut to a point there. That way it'll dig down into that mud on the bottom. And I use these tripod mounts. I just drilled a hole straight through there. That tripod mount screws right on there. I super glued it too, just so it doesn't rotate or anything. I've got a couple different lengths of these dowels. The one I got on this bed in front of me is about yay big. So I'll plant the GoPro, back off, wait for about 10 minutes for that fish to settle down. And then I'll throw my worm over there and see if we can get him. So while we're waiting for that, I'll show you guys the setup I'm using here real quick. So I've got my five foot 10 medium power, extra fast action St. Croix Legend Tournament rod. I really like these short spinning rods for river fishing. And I'm using a Abu Garcia Revo MGX 20 size reel. I've got 10 pound trilene sensation on that. And like I said, I'm using a Neko rig today. So for those of you that don't know what that is, it's kind of similar to a wacky rig type setup, except we have a weight pegged into the nose of that worm. So it 
the weight at the end sits on the bottom and the rest floats up like that. And give it little twitches and get that tail moving. And the worms I'm using here actually work really well for this. They're these Nico six inch Zaza bass worms. I've got the June bug color with the club tail. I don't know if these are gonna be available quite yet by the time I upload this video. They're supposed to be out mid June. I got in on an early run of them, but I'll leave a link down in the description as soon as they become available because I really like these worms for a couple reasons. For one, they're super buoyant. So that worm sits upright and real nice and they're really durable too. So you don't need to use an O-ring to keep your worm. I've been using the same one all day. So I've given this fish up in front of me a good five or 10 minutes to settle down and yeah, he's definitely back on the bed over there. Let's toss the worm over and see how it feels about that. Well, he doesn't look too happy, does he? Got him. Oh, he picked it up. I think he just got the tail of that worm though. Got him that time. Oh yeah. Ooh, they are jumpy today, aren't they? Oh man, this is so much fun. I love fishing these smallmouth in this super clear water too. Just watching them fight as you reel them in. That is awesome stuff. Get you in my net. Nice. Oh, look at that. Pretty smallmouth. Alright. Quick look at him and Send him off. <laughs> He's definitely ready to go. All right, still got my worm. Look at that. Excellent. Yeah, if these worms are anything like the Nico Helgramites, and they are made out of the same plastic, I'd imagine you can fish one pretty much all day until a pike takes it or you lose it to a snag. I like that little setup right there. Well, I'm making my way back to my truck. But look what we got here, Mr. Snapping Turtle. Check that out, that's cool. That's a decent sized one, he's not huge. Let me see if he'll snap at my paddle. Man, he's a quick little dude, isn't he? It's about time for me to call it a day. I made it back to my truck here. It's been a good day of fishing though. We got some real nice ones. It's been a perfect day to be out here on the water. And hopefully some of that underwater bed cam footage turned out all right. I'm sure you guys already saw some of it in this video. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along with me again. And I'll see you next time.